Hi, I'm Mike Merritt, and in this video, we'll discuss including a categorical variable or factor in a regression model. When building a regression model, one may include numeric variables, categorical variables, or a combination of both as the explanatory or independent variables. We will be working with the lung capacity data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already imported the data into R and attached it. For more details on fitting a linear regression model, you can check out some of our earlier videos. We will fit a model using the explanatory or independent variables of age and smoke. Taking a look at the smoke variable here, you can see that it is a categorical variable with two levels and can therefore be represented using one indicator or dummy variable. You can also note that the non-smoking is the reference category. In separate videos, we discuss the idea of a dummy or indicator variable, as well as how to change the reference category for a categorical variable. Now, let's go ahead and fit that regression model. I've already written a script here, so we're going to work with that. Here, we'll fit this regression model using age and smoke to estimate the mean lung capacity. You can note that the order the variables are entered in does not matter for the regression model fit. For example, reversing the order of age and smoke in this is not going to change the fitted model. Now let's ask for a summary of this model. We can see that the fitted regression equation is the mean lung capacity given the x variables is 1.08 plus 0.555 times age minus 0.649 times the indicator for smoking. To calculate the regression equation for a non-smoker, the smoking indicator will take on a value of zero. We then have the regression line for non-smokers as 1.08 plus 0.555 times age. To calculate the regression line for a smoker, the smoking indicator will take on a value of one. We would then have that the regression line for smokers is 0.431 plus 0.555 times age. Now let's take a look at these two regression lines on a plot. I've already written a script to produce this plot, so I'll run through these commands, and for a more detailed discussion of the commands we're using to produce this plot, you can take a look at some of our earlier videos on modifying plots, as well as a video on adding legends to plots. First, we're going to plot the age of non-smokers versus the lung capacity of non-smokers. We're going to add these in blue points. We're going to set the Y limit to run from 0 to 15. We're also going to add in X labels and Y labels as well as a title. Using the points command, we're going to add in the age and lung capacity for the smokers. We're going to plot these using red points as well as plotting character 16, which as you can see is solid circles and we'll then add in a legend labeling these points. And now we're going to add in the regression lines to this plot. To do so, we're going to use the AB line command. First, we're going to add in the line for the non-smokers in blue. We're going to add a line that has an intercept of 1.08, a slope of 0.555, we're going to make this line blue, and LWD is the line width. We're going to set this to three to have a thick line. And now we're going to add in the line for the smokers in red. Here we're going to add a line that has an intercept of 0.431, a slope of 0.555, we're going to add it in the color red, and again a line width of 3. Now let's take a closer look at this plot and discuss the interpretations of this model. Here we can see that age has an effect on lung capacity. As age increases by one year, we expect the mean lung capacity to increase by 0.555. And this increase is assumed to be the same for smokers and non-smokers, as can be seen by these two lines having the same slope. We can also see that smoking has an effect on lung capacity. For a smoker, the mean lung capacity decreases by 0.649. And again, this effect is assumed to be the same for all ages. This model that we fit assumes that age has an effect on the mean lung capacity smoking has an effect on the mean lung capacity, but that the effect of age is independent of smoking, and the effect of smoking is independent of age. 
In statistical terms, this is often referred to as no interaction between smoking and age. In epidemiological terms, this is often referred to as no effect modification. That is, the effect of smoking is not modified by age, or the effect of age is not modified by smoking. A model for interaction or effect modification would result in a model with non-parallel lines. The effect of smoking would depend on the age, or the effect of age would depend on whether or not one smoked. In separate videos, we'll discuss fitting and interpreting models that include interaction or effect modification. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.